The church of God is under attack. The church of God is under attack. The people of God is under attack, just as the title says. A few Christians might not believe. They chose to believe that we are living in a time where we just sit back, relax in church and have a good time, not realizing that we are living in the last days and the Bible warns us against the last days about the perilous times that will come. Ephesians 6 and verse 12, the old King James Version reminds us tonight, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this present world, this world that we are living in now, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's what we are up against. I want to show you a video tonight of a church in Barbados a few months ago in 2022 that was attacked by a man who was passing on the street and heard the church going on and decided that he was going to intervene. He went into the church and demanded that they do not use the name of Jesus. He demanded that they stop calling upon the name of Jesus. And when they refused, the man got upset. According to local media reports, a man walked into the Zion Hill New Testament Church of God and demanded that worshippers on a Sunday morning not use the name of Jesus. The pastor of the church identifies as Gregney Older and his wife Allison sustained injuries due to the church invasion. The church property including benches, mics, pulpits got damaged. I want to show you the video tonight. Show you exactly what happened and this service was being live streamed. It was live on here when this incident took place. But I want you to pay particular attention to the lady that will speak last. And she's going to say something at the end of her speech. I want us to listen what she's saying. Because the church of God, this is where we need to go and this is what we need to do. Please watch the video.
call upon the name of Jesus Christ. He came upon this platform. Jesus, what happened? He spat can't get what we got in my face. He spat in the pastor's face. He again began to assault the pastor of the New Testament church at Zion Hill, demanding that we stop calling the name of Jesus. This is how he, he left the pastor of this church bloodied bloody we have put this matter before the lord but we have also called the barbados royal police force he cuffed me all in my face this country is to be a safe country where we can worship god in peace he has destroyed all of our altar benches in his rage we have placed this matter before the Lord, but we want to let those of you who saw it know that we are not harmed. We are safe. We are alive. The Barbados police force will come and they will do what they need to do. But we continue to stand on the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Barbados in May of 2022. This is not Turkey. This is not a Middle Eastern country. This is in Barbados and this has happened on a Sunday morning in this country. So we're going to end our fee for our worship this morning and deal with the matters here. But we wanted to let you, our worshipers, know who are online that witness what transpired. That we are, we are alive and we are well. And we, we are give victorious. God thanks Come on. We for are that victorious. in Jesus' name. We are Hallelujah. Victorious. We are victorious. Amen. Amen. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers against spiritual wickedness in high places the church of god and god's people we are under attack it was a traumatizing period for the church we are not we don't have many young people but we have a lot of mature people that took it seriously and it hit them so suddenly for all the years this church was here for 106 years and we have never seen anything like this before so it would have caught people by surprise one young lady that would work in the, the, the uh, media for the church she was totally traumatized that she could not get herself together till maybe after three or four hours after leaving church but we are glad today that the lord has protected our pastor he protected me i'm so Sure that if I was in there, it would have been spread out too, right? But I'm glad for the protection and the blood of Jesus. I want to say today, to those that are called by the name of Christ, live it. Don't play, live it. Because God is able to do all things and the enemy is on the rampage. We often hear he comes and take his seat in the church. And it is so true and we can't take it lightly. We must understand and I pray that this will be a turn and a round for this very assembly and all the assemblies in Barbados, the Caribbean and the world by extension that we cannot take the devil lightly. And today I pray that God will not kill the guy. He will not mean him or disfigure him but that he will change him and that he will be changed for the glory of God. The lady was speaking to all of us as Christians. She said, we should not be taking the devil lightly. She said this happened in Barbados, but this could have happened anywhere in the Caribbean and in the world by extension. We are up against an active devil. She said, people of God, we need to stop sitting in our churches and warming benches. People are dying every day. And Ephesians 6 warns us that we should put on the whole arm of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It talks about the breastplate. It talks about the sword, which is the word of God. It talks about the helmet of salvation. It talks about our future of the preparation of the gospel. We are in a war. We are fighting against the devil, good against evil. And I'm saying, church people, we need to start praying more. We need to start going down our knees, praying for our loved ones, praying for the world. Satan has gone to conference to stop the people of God, by the way. But we need to be one run higher. And how we are going to be one run higher? 
is to continue to worship and praise God in the good times and in the bad times. God is to be worshipped. God is to be praised. God is coming back. We are in a warfare, but God is our shield and he's our butler. According to Psalm 91, he is within us. He is with us and he's around us. God bless you.